All right. And I still got nine lives because it doesn't count past nine, but I will I do have past nine So that's good All right, so I got to go back into that level just to turn back into a crocodile, but not before I do this Also welcome to part 12 All right, which one are the, the boots in this one, right? Fantastic and I think we unlock the next level here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Losing a life to save time. Speedrunning tactics. Because that's how I roll. We're just taking damage because I'm an idiot. Yep. This is... the path to the next level. And I think I could do this puzzle as a crocodile? I don't... Okay, good. I could do this puzzle as a crocodile, but here's the reason I need to become a crocodile, and here's the reason why I need to come here as a, the barren bird first. So... I need the crocodile to fit to this tiny hole here, but to break the boulder that, that blocks it, I had to bust it open! Alright. I'll be right back as a crocodile. See ya. Let's pick it back up here. Where uh, we're almost at the point again as an alligator. Won't be too far. Won't be too far from here. I think this is where we meet Cheeto. For the first time. And he teaches us a, a cheat to input at a treasure trove cove. In fact, I think he explains it when we meet him. It's because her brother's dim. I am not. I am not dim. The earth is flat. Yes, hello, useless book. With only four pages. Well, technically eight. Hey, book brain. Ha ha ha. Good one, Grunty. <laughs> Finders keepers. Blue eggs. Will someone keep track for me? <laughs> Help you, it will. Yes, like Yoda, he talks. Spoiler alert, there are two characters in the next game, the sequel to this game. That also talk like that. In fact, they convince Gruntilda to stop rhyming, which is a uh, uh, all right rare, I guess. Uh, if you don't, if you don't have any creativity left in you, then I guess that's what you got to do. It's just to stop the uh, stop one of the biggest draws of the game is is the uh, the antagonist rhyming. All right, I'm glad we never have to go back into this level again. Oh, wait, my camera's getting turned around. What? Banjo, Banjo 2 is a fine game. What do you mean? It's just a lot longer than this, than this game. All right, yeah, Mumbo will just turn me back. As is, I don't need to, need to go back in. This guy's going to take a cheap shot on me. Yeah, Banjo 2 is just a little harder, a little long. Which is weird because it actually has fewer jiggies than this game does, but it still managed to stretch it out. <laughs> Vile, but worse, yeah. All the mini games in Banjo 2 are like Mr. Vile that we just faced off against. I think this is the way I have to go. I don't think there are any other ways to go. By the way, is my... Oh, this is not the way I have to go. I don't think... Because this is the way to the next level. After... 
After the one I'm about to go to. Alright, I don't want to go there just yet. I think my frame rate is kind of low because uh, I was actually going to restart my computer before recording this. But the thing is, uh, uh, Windows 10 had the good graces to warn me that and say, hey, if you're gonna, if you're gonna restart, I'm gonna update. Thank you, Windows 10. I guess I'll just deal with the fucking, this shitty ass frame rate. Or maybe that's just because of the emulator. Is this the way to freeze easy uh, peak? I just had to go upstairs, right? And that's where the, uh, that's where I find it. Well then, let's go back in through the same doorway. How long have I been recording? Ended the last one at 17, so it's been 10 minutes now. Maybe I'll briefly excurs into Freeze Easy Peak before, uh, before ending it. Yep, uh, alright. It's weird that they put level 6 before 5 in terms of overworld. Oh, yep, yeah, this is the way. This is the way. Alright, I think... Oh, I gotta shoot eggs at it. Alright. And that's something that, uh... Oh, yeah, I've been, I've been on for a while now. I believe this is the way to unlock Gobi's Valley, which is the sixth one that I was just talking about. The sixth level. Yeah, all right, I'm staying out of here. And then beyond that, Mad Monster Mansion and so on and so forth. All right, let's see what else I can do with Neil. Oh yeah, here's a return of the... Uh... Hello? Okay, I must have already met this guy in this, in this uh, playthrough. But he's like, hey, if you touch my eggs again, if you touch my honeycombs again, you'll be sorry. Oh, hey, there's a shortcut here now. I can warp back to the beginning of the overworld. But I choose not to because there's no reason for now. A big old... Yeah, O-L apostrophe? Nah. O-L-E is the way to go. All right, I don't have enough of that one yet. Maybe this is the way to Mad Monster or... Maybe that's the way to Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't remember! What's up, dude? Have I unlocked one of you yet? Nope. That's fine. Uh... All right, so here's this weirdo. I don't know what I don't know what his deal is, but we're gonna ignore him from now. For now, yeah, I don't want to. Looks kind of creepy to be honest. I don't really want to associate with him. <laughs> oh my god! Anyone who's watched probably one or a few of my first seven will know that <laughs> will know that I'm joking there. I've already interacted with her, yeah, it's a her, I know. But, uh... After I recorded the, uh... Well, the first ten parts, really. I had to start a new game because my hard drive crashed, as I mentioned. So, every time I talk to her in, in episodes one through ten, it's all moot because she has a new set of information for me now. I mean, spoilers, we won't get to that till later. Oh, this is a thing that I cannot even come close to completing right now because I absolutely need the shoes for those. But we'll get some other goodies along the way. Ah! That was ear shattering. And flight pad shattering. Can I not go this way? Alright. So I think we might be able to catch it here, but there's something above me? No? Okay, maybe not. I think there's a door up there, though. Wait, patterns? 
256 different patterns? I thought... I thought each game had, like, one streamline of stuff that it could, uh... It, like, I thought each game had its own very specific... ...set of, uh, information that it could have. Alright, so we got a new move waiting for us. In the freeze easy. Freeze easy. This game is gonna be easy. So... Next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we'll slide our way down this ramp right here. Goodbye! All right, let me actually stop the recording this.